Justin Putterman is the chair of the local FEMA board, as well as a member of the Human Services Advisory Council. He will speak to us about the FEMA Emergency Food and Shelter Program. Council and the past Chief Volunteer Officer of the United Way of Central Jersey, I've been involved as a community advocate for a number of years after retiring from federal service. Uh, a federal service that at the time that I was involved with it seemed to have been more caring for people than what I see today. Uh, as you know, Congress has yet to pass any of the 12 fiscal year 2011 appropriation bills which include the Department of Homeland Security, their Appropriations Act provides funding through the Emergency Food and Shelter Program, the basis for FEMA here in Middlesex County. Instead, Congress continues to pass a series of continuing resolutions which keep government operating at last year's funding levels because Congress has not passed the Department of Homeland Security Appropriations Act, the administration continues to delay the disbursements for the emergency food and shelter program. The most recent continuing resolution will, ex will expire in early April, another week and a half. At that point, Congress will continue to debate legislation that will fund federal programs for the balance of the fiscal 2011 year. The current education legislation, as Lizanne pointed out, uh, contains a 50%, not 15, but a 15% reduction in the amount of, of funds coming to Middlesex County through the FEMA process. Last year's appropriation for the county was $497,094 for emergency rent, mortgage and utility assistance, emergency shelter programs and food programs, both congregate and food <coughs> pantries. We request that the national emergency food and shelter program funding be kept at the level of a year ago, which is $200 million. That was for funding the same level as 2010. As chair of the local FEMA board, I urge everyone to reach out to our congressional delegation now, not wait for later. What we're addressing is, in reality, a continuing short-term solution for the fiscal year spending bill, even if passed, only provides funding through September 2011. We must then go through the same never-ending debate for fiscal year 2012. It's important to stress that most, the most vulnerable of our citizens are continually impacted by the body politic. We must insist that human services emergency issues be taken out of the turmoil and debate and looked at as the true emergency issues they are. And I reiterate what the previous people have said, and that is we must act now to make contact with our congressional delegation and let them know that this kind of programming cut is cutting a lifeline for the future of our society. Uh, if anyone would like a copy of the information, I would be glad to give it to them later. Thank you very much.